So welcome to today's video where I'll be doing something a little bit different than usual. For today's video I'm starting off a new series called Character Critiques which is basically me criticising characters, mostly from Bully as my channel is strongly centred around that. So with that out of the way let's get straight onto the video. Episode 1, Who is the worst character in Bully? Well it's none other than Ted Thompson the jock leader. Now please note this isn't a hate video on Ted or his character, it's more or less criticism on him and how his character is handled by Rockstar. So let's start off with the beginning of the game, in chapter 1, where Jimmy arrives at Bullworth. Upon entering the academy we see loads of posters for Ted and Ernest about an upcoming school election and to newer players, or at least me when I first played Bully on the PS2, it kind of gives off the impression that these two characters would be main characters and recurrent throughout the story. And to be fair, Ernest was a recurring character, as he appeared in pretty much every single chapter except chapter 2. But Ted only appears in that intro cutscene where Gary introduces the clicks to Jimmy, and then he is seemingly absent from the story until chapter 4. Which is understandable since none of the jocks have anything to do with the events that happen in chapters 2 and 3. And even when we finally get a mission involving the election, Ted doesn't even appear. Now this is one of my strongest critiques of Bully, because this whole election storyline is completely and utterly pointless. Once Ernest has finished his speech in the mission The Candidate, that's it, the whole election storyline comes to an end. There was certainly potential here for Ted to be the main character of his own little side story, kind of like how there was a storyline revolving around Mr Galloway and Mr Hattrick, but no, this is the last we hear of Ted until chapter 4, excluding the Russell boss fight because you should know I'm talking about story roles not mission appearances. Anyway, in the chapter 4 intro we see Ted and Damon bullying Pete and the confrontation they have with Jimmy, which strongly implies that Ted would be the main antagonist during the events of chapter 4, but Ted doesn't even appear until his boss fight. I guess you can make a very similar statement for Darby Harrington, since Darby isn't seen all in chapter 2. But to be fair, Jimmy wasn't rivaling with Darby at all, instead he was rivaling with Tad Spencer after Gary managed to turn Tad on Jimmy. And also Darby Harrington has a small role in chapter 3, convincing Jimmy to get revenge on the Greasers for what they did to Gord in the mission bait. But going back to my earlier point about the whole election thing, Ted could have been a fantastic antagonist during chapter 4 if he won the election and managed to spite Ernest and the rest of the nerds. Like I've always said, Ernest losing the election could have been a great driving point behind Chapter 4's plotline, and it certainly would have added a bit more to the story other than we're sick of getting bullied, we just want revenge. Ted could have even made an appearance, taunting or even leading the attack on the nerds in Defender of the Castle, considering that it was his girlfriend Ernest had naked pictures of, but no, Ted is seemingly absent until the big game. Now speaking of the big game, I even found the whole boss fight to be really underwhelming too. Now I know that's kind of controversial, don't get me wrong, the build up was amazing, the mission before it was one of the best set of missions I've ever played in any Rockstar game, the atmosphere was amazing, alongside the soundtrack, which in my opinion, I consider to be one of the best soundtracks in all of Bully. But the payoff was just really weird and underwhelming, like we have Jimmy and the jocks throwing explosive footballs at each other, and then we get to fight Ted by himself, but Ted doesn't even attempt to fight Jimmy, and he's knocked out of a single punch. I still remember when I first beat him on the PS2 back in 2008 and I just remember saying to myself, what the hell was that? When it just seemed to abruptly end. You know, it's just like there's all that build up for nothing. And it just made Ted look completely and utterly laughable as an antagonist in my opinion. And it doesn't just stop here either. In chapter 5, after everyone turns on Jimmy, every click leader makes an appearance in their click's respective mission, except Ted. Like we have Ernest Jones blaming Jimmy for rats in Rats in the Library, Darby Harrington blaming Jimmy for the break-in on the Preps boxing gym, and finding Johnny Vincent which, well, revolved around finding Johnny Vincent. But in the jocks mission, the gym is burning where everybody blames Jimmy for arson, Ted is nowhere to be seen. Instead we have two deleted characters who make an appearance instead. Is Ted really that unimportant that beta characters have to fulfil roles he should be doing? I mean come on we've got Bob, who is a deleted character, and if we fail the mission we have Jake. Seriously, what was the point in his character? I get that he's supposed to be the leader of the jocks, and that is literally the only thing he does, but he barely appears in the story at all, and you could honestly erase his character and replace him with someone, maybe Damon, and the story wouldn't change at all. Now on the subject of Damon, I feel like Damon was a much better antagonist than Ted ever was, considering Damon got more on screen time than Ted did, and arguably had a bigger role than Ted did in his own boss fight. In Ted's boss fight, Damon has two of those really short in-game cutscenes, and he takes about 5 hits from explosive footballs, while Ted, the leader and the supposed toughest guy in the school, remains untouched until all his team are down, doesn't fight and is dead with a single punch. 
It's not really the kind of climax you'd expect from an antagonist. And going back to Damon, when we get introduced to him, his first appearance is him strangling Ernest, which gives the player the impression he is an antagonist, and his second story appearance is him bullying Pete, which solidifies him as a villain, in my opinion. Now, when it comes to the story, I believe Ernest Jones and Johnny Vincent are the best examples of characters done right, as they appear as main characters during their respective chapters, alongside them having slightly minor roles outside of their chapters. Like for example, in Chapter 3 we get a mission off Ernest, where he asks Jimmy for help rescuing Algernon and Cornelius from Johnny Vincent and his boys, and in Chapter 5 we get an entire mission revolving around Johnny Vincent alongside a very minor update to Johnny Vincent's story from Chapter 3. So overall I reckon Ted Thompson is without a doubt the worst character in Bully simply because of how underused he is and all the chances Roxa had to make Ted a fantastic and memorable antagonist. So what do you think of this uh, critique? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comments below and thank you for watching.